I got onions in there, my potato. And this is gonna be so good. I, I'm one who loves bell peppers and onions. I love, love it, love it, love it. I pretty much, and I, if I could, I'd do garlic too. Which I can. So anyway, um, I was telling you guys in another video, like, you don't have to be totally out of, you know, being beautified or fly as you would call it. You can get your nails. Like, I got these nails here, which I have food on my hands, but look, can't even tell. And I'm still looking good. Look at that. I've got the wig on deck, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, let me turn my salad down. Oh, a little bit too much for me. Trying to burn on me. All right, let me get my spatula. And I can use my spoon to turn my salmon over because it's cooking fast already. And I didn't even add a lot of, um, I didn't add a lot of oil to it. Oh, Jesus. That cooked pretty quick. So that's my salmon. I'm going to put my bell pepper in here now, too. But like I said, I got the nails. Got a, I had a wig. So I guess in the future, for anything that happens like this, try to have, like, you know, you know, stuff for emergency situations, like a couple of wigs in the closet or on the shelf, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're natural, you don't have to worry about none of this. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of um, garlic butter to my potatoes. I have my bell pepper and my onion there, a little bit of garlic butter, and I also wanna add a little bit of um, French onion butter too, just to give it a nice little flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to add um, my seasoning. I'm going to show you how to make some fried corn that you, some of you may know, uh, be familiar with it, and some of you may not. But uh, I had a guy who was in Georgia years ago who um, showed me it. This is thyme I'm using. I like to throw, like I said, a lot of stuff in my, my food, so I got my onion powder here. Not a lot. Got my cilantro. I love the herbs. Love the spices. Can it ever go wrong? Now, the one thing I will say is when you're cooking food, anytime you're adding spices, make sure you add a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt, and I'll, I'll throw a little obey on my um, my salmon, just a little bit. Give it a little seafood taste. Anytime you are seasoning up food, make sure you just add a little bit of salt, even if you don't you know, like a lot of salt, which I don't, but salt brings out the flavor in uh, most foods. But most other seasons, salt will bring, bring it out. So I think I added everything. And I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon pepper to my salmon as well. So I did a little bit of obey. And I don't even want it to cook hard. I'm going to turn it right back over again. Give it that nice little, um, little crisp that I'm looking for. Put a little bit of lemon pepper. Um, my obey. I'm going to do my obey. We're gonna obey because that's that's giving uh, it a seafoody taste. All right, so now I did um, all of my stuff for my potatoes. Now I'm going to, you know, just let them get brown basically. I love to have the colors in there, the different uh, herbs in there, the different flavors of butter in there. Um, usually I would have garlic too, but I did put a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm gonna let these cook really down and I'm um, gonna commence to start my corn. Now the corn is very simple. I call it fried corn. It's, it's really not, but it's like, you know, just saute. Now look, the salmon is already done. Let me show you what the salmon is looking like. It's, to me, it's already done. I don't have, it doesn't take salmon long. That's done already. You see that? That's done already, because it doesn't take long. 30 minutes for this lunch, and I'm done. All right, so I'm gonna take my salmon and put it off over there and then start with my corn. This meal will be 30 minutes and over. All right, so I don't think I need a whole bag of corn. Let me add a little bit of oil. I am, uh, like I said, I like my food to be anointed, so I like it a little oily, but not a lot of oil, not in excess. So just a little bit of oil for my corn. Fire's still going. I'm going to put it in the, um, the oil. You can see it, I hope. I'm going to move it down just a little bit, let you see what I'm doing. If you don't see my face, that's fine. I'll let you see, see me in a minute. 
So there's my corn. I like to add also a lot of these seasonings to my corn as well. I like to put the, the, the herbs in there. In all my vegetables, I like my herbs. So I'm a copycat when it comes to the food. I like everything, everything. Don't leave right now. Thyme, basil, all that. You, you're not gonna go wrong with this stuff anyway. Um, cilantro. Okay. Onion powder. All right. And then a little bit of salt, like I said, to just give it that kick on both of these. And a little bit of um, butter for the um, corn won't hurt either. A little bit of garlic butter and a little bit of French onion butter. Won't hurt. Corn is a is a um, a great thing to add butter to. So, all right, I got my stuff going. I might as well just use the rest of this corn. Show y'all how this is done in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. But like I said, yes, guys, I got my press on. I got my wig on. And, under, and, and I'm doing a new um, rice water um, challenge for my hair. I was doing the aloe vera one. I'm still going to do that. But I saw the rice water thing, and it just intrigued me a little bit more. So I'm doing that. As you can see, my potatoes are browning. I'm going to add a little bit more oil because they cook. I think I got everything up too high. Turn it down a little bit. Show y'all how it's going. I'm going to add a little bit, little bit more oil. Not much. I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix up. I'm going to love it. 30 minute meal, guys. 30 minutes. And if you're making it more for more people, just make a little bit more. That's all you got to do. Is this going on? I'm going to turn this corn up a little bit. And I'm going to show you how I trick with this corn. Let, wait, let me let it cook for a little while. I'm going to show you why I... Um, Call it fried corn. And, and um, I don't have pepper, but you can always add a little bit of, because I didn't go and get the pepper, and I've been out a million times, I still haven't had the pepper. But you can always go out and, uh, not go out, but you can always uh, sub a little bit, sub it with a little bit of red pepper, but not a lot because you know that's real spicy. So um, I'm, I'm hopeful, guys. I pray that. All of you guys are safe, that you're, you know, adhering to the, you know, the uh, regulations of, you know, quarantining and social distancing and stuff like that. You know, I'm praying that everybody uh, is doing that and that everybody's safe, you know. We want to live, we want to, you know, there's my food. Got my salmon right there, already ready to go. Look at that. My salmon, potatoes looking good, and this corn. Let me let the butter melt first, and I'm gonna show y'all. Um, and again, I always say that I like to clean as I go, so now that I'm done with all of this stuff. Oh, you know, I didn't add a saison. I'm gonna add a little bit of saison, or saison, to my potatoes. Saison always gives it another little extra little um, kick as well, and, and they're gonna be so good. One little tack is not gonna hurt. Got my bag here for my trash. Remember guys, always clean as you go, guys. Don't have much of a mess. Get you clean as you go. If you, um, when you're done with me, just put it away. All right, again, under 30 minutes. Don't get in the kitchen taking all day. People want to eat. And it's just me today, but if you're cooking for somebody else, they want to eat. So don't take all day. Don't be in there doing nothing. <laughs> don't clean this mess up. Clean my stove. I'm a stickler for the, for the cleanliness. And so anyway, guys, yeah, so I'm hoping that everybody is just 
just basically saved until we get through this. You know, we're sorry for all the lives that have been lost through this coronavirus. But let me tell you something. There are, like I said, and you guys need to go watch some of my other videos because in my other videos I suggest what you can do if you start to feel, you know, a certain type of way. I suggested in my, another video the uh, orange peels, how you can boil them and, you know, uh, steam your face in for a while. And it makes your throat, you know, it goes right to your lungs and it clears them out. So if anything's trying to, you know, hold, uh, harbor up in there or hide in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to come out. So, you know, that and also lemon slices. You know, I suggested in the other video to do lemon slices, boil, uh, boil the lemon slices. Put a little bit of salt in there and, you know, eat it. Eat the lemon slices. I, I said uh, use oil of oregano. Oil of oregano has a lot of uh, healing properties that uh, would be beneficial to someone who's not feeling good. They're anti-inflammatory, they're uh, antibacterial, antiviral, a lot of stuff. Cancer prevention. Uh, oil of oregano has a lot. Now here's the catch to my corn. Some of you may have done this before. I'm going to take my face off for a minute. But this is what I do to my corn. I take my corn and I throw a little bit of flour in there. And what's going to happen is, it's going to create a gravy. And it's so good. You don't have to put a lot, just a little. Just cover it up a little bit and let that cook in there. And you'll be surprised. Now, what I'm missing is I'm missing the, the pepper. I'm missing the pepper. Because the pepper really gives it a nice, and i got to add a little bit more oil because once the flour starts to cook, um, you don't want the flour to burn, so let me turn it down a little bit. But yeah, this flour will give it a nice little um, gravy, and you can add as much as you want if you like that. Um, if you like that, uh, the gravy and how it tastes and stuff like that. Once you see, I don't really have a whole lot, but you'll see the bits of the, the gravy in there. Let me add a little bit more. And I probably could add a little bit of liquid, but. I don't like too much water in my food because the water takes the flavor out. But you let this cook. Maybe I'll get a little tiny bit of water, just a little bit of water. Not much. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water to give it to let the gravy be able to cook on there. And it's really, really amazing once you get it all cooked. Really a nice, nice taste. The, the, the flour gives it a really, really, really nice finish. But you don't want to add too much flour, you know? It's all in what you like. I'm going to add a little bit more salt just to give it, you know, what it needs. 30 minutes guys, 30 minutes, and this is almost done, almost done. But like I said, yeah, so there are things that you can do to, you know, ward off the virus if you feel like you're starting to feel sick. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, not too long ago before I started the video, I was getting a really strong, bad headache in the back of my head here. I went and looked up, because I'm a person that loves to Google everything, and I looked up what fruits or vegetables is good for headaches. And I found that cranberries was. So I have three bags of cranberries in my cabinet. I went in there and I got it, and I took three big handfuls of cranberry, uh, cranberries, fresh cranberries, and I ate them. And believe me, and when I say the headache was gone, it was gone. So there are things in your home that you can use to, um, you know, to help you with when you're not feeling good. Listen, guys, this food, this this meal is done. It's literally done. I could let these potatoes cook a little longer. I could let the, uh, the bell peppers and onions cook a little bit longer, but I don't really have to. This is done. And it hasn't been that long. Oh, let me get this mess up first. It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes, guys. That's all it needs. And now wait till I plate this up. You know how nice it's gonna look. And it doesn't just look good on camera, but it actually is really delicious when it's time to eat it too. I really wish you guys could be here to taste. 
what I cook. Because my food is really good. And I know because my family tells me. Uh, it's actually really good. All right, so anyway, let me plate this. Like I said, this is a 30 minute meal. It didn't take me long. I, you know, got here and I'm ready to eat. So I'm gonna turn everything off. Everything is off. You hear my salmon. I'll give you a close up to show you how it looks after I plate it up. Okay, so there'll be a little bit left over. There'll be a little potato and corn. The salmon I made one big piece for myself. Let me just, let me play it first. Stop recording. All right guys, so I am done. My 30 minute meal is finished. Let me show you guys what it looks like up close. And I'll probably take a pic of it as well. That's how it looks guys, look at that. Beautiful, it's always beautiful. I'm gonna take this off of here and let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the way it looks. I should put it in a different light. Let me put it in a better light. Let's put it over here. And that's what the plate looks like. Salmon fried corn and uh, smothered potatoes if you wanna call it. That's it. It was 30 minutes guys. It didn't take long, it's delicious. And feel free to um, comment below and, you know, tell me what you think. If you have ideas that you want to, um, you know, give me as to what you would like for me to cook, I'll be more than happy to do that. Now, this is done. I'm going to probably sit down right now and eat. And I'll take a pic of it. So I'll send a pic on it of it before you guys probably see the video. So just listen. Remember, guys, uh, stay quarantined. Be safe. Say your prayers and pray for your family always, okay? Prayer changes things. God hears the uh, prayers of the righteous, so I'm a strong believer in that. So make sure you say your prayers always. Keep your family covered. And um, cook some great meals, guys. Cook some great meals. This is the time when we're in the house and we have time to do this because with the world we live in, most of the time we don't have the time to do this. So this is a, a blessing. I, I said it in another video. Go and watch uh, my other video, the uh, coronavirus, um, what is it called, Jesus? It's the coronavirus virus video that I did, and I talk about these are blessings that we have when we have time to do things that we normally wouldn't have time to do because we're always running, we're always so busy. So like I said, just go and check that video out as well. And listen, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Remember to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.